please guys try to watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that i'm gonna give you hello guys how you doing this is su amigo alex your friend alex and today i'm gonna try to unlock this iphone 7 how can we know that this iphone is locked or not very simple we're gonna put a sim card from mint mobile right here and let's see what happened you know activation required update completed it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. SIM not supported. The SIM that you're currently have installed in this iPhone is from a carrier that is not supported under the activation policy that is currently assigned by the activation server. This is not a hardware issue with the iPhone. Please install another SIM from a supported carrier or request that this iPhone be unlocked by your carrier. This is the key, guys. We need to request the unlock. How can we know what carrier locked this iPhone? Open Safari. We're gonna search for check IMEI and the website is imei check go to the menu and you're going to select iphone carrier check imei we need to copy the imei where's the imei it's on settings general about it should be here imei click and hold copy go back to the website and paste now you need to delete the blank spaces and you need to add the last two digits that we're missing 31 31 now, IMEI 2. I don't have an IMEI 2, but I do have a serial number. Click and hold, copy, go back to the website, click and paste, and then click check. Now, this website is going to tell us what carrier logged this iPhone 7. It says carrier US AT&T lock, activation policy, all right? SIM lock, lock. So now we know that AT&T locked this iPhone. We can open Safari, and we're going to search for AT&T unlock. We're going to go to the AT&T website. Now, be careful where you're going because there's a lot of similar websites that they will charge you for this, but AT&T will never charge you. I will put a link in the description. Select a brand. You're going to click Apple, and then you're going to click here. Submit an unlock request right there. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I don't. IMEI. Click and hold. Copy. Go back to the website. Click and paste. Look at this. The website recognized the device as the iPhone 7, the model A1778. Click I read the legal info and then click next. Now you have to put your name, Alex Suniga. Phone number, don't even click there because if you click, you're going to have to put a number. Email address, my track phone. Okay, my track phone wireless at Gmail. Type it again at gmail.com. All right, click submit. And it says, thanks, we got your request. The second step is we're going to log in to our email account. And right here, AT&T Online Services. Heads up, you have 24 hours to confirm your unlock request. The only thing you need to do here is you need to click confirm your request. So now that you confirm your request, you're going to go back to that email. And you're going to click check the status. You're going to see pending. Okay, they are working on it. But this is all done electronically. So you don't have to wait too much. So give it a minute or two and then go back to the original email and you're going to click check the status again. But this time, probably AT&T is going to tell us approve or deny. AT&T is always going to tell you what is the reason they are denying your request. So let's do it, guys. Cross your fingers. Check the status. Boom, approve. Current status approved. We approve your request to unlock your device. The only thing you need to do is just put a SIM card from another carrier and it will work. It will unlock the device. If it doesn't work, you need to do a backup of your entire phone. You need to delete the iPhone and then restore it from that backup. That's what AT&T says. But in my opinion, you just need to put your SIM card and it should work. Now, on newer devices, if you go to about, it will tell you carrier lock, no SIM restrictions, right? But on this one, it doesn't say that. There's no way to know by just going to about. What you need to do is you need to put the SIM card and then remember what happened when we first put that SIM card? We got a no SIM. Uh, oh, look at this. Activation required. Before, we used to get a no SIM. Uh, a SIM not compatible or something like that. Oh, look. Now we're going to Mint. So it's bypassing the lock. It's bypassing the lock right there. Mint, carrier, okay, update the carrier, uh, update the settings, that's fine. But now you have Mint before you got a message, right? SIM not supported. Now you got Mint, so you're in. You can put any carrier and it should work. You will probably see the carrier here. 
carrier T-Mobile, but it's actually a uh, mint. All right. You should also get an email. So let's check our email. Yeah. Heads up. We approve your unlock request. That's it, guys. They approve it. And then we have the email. So that's wonderful. Now, this unlock is forever. They cannot lock your phone again. This is the server unlock, the official unlock. Even if you update the iOS, you will never lose this unlock. So it's great, guys. Now, what happens if you have a different carrier? T-Mobile, Verizon, Xfinity, Spectrum, Cricket, H2O, whatever. If you have a different carrier, please check the unlock policies of that carrier. I would love to unlock iPhones for any single carrier in the world, but I don't have an iPhone lock to every single carrier in the world. So if you want to send me an iPhone lock to your carrier, I can try to unlock it, right? But right now, I only have this AT&T iPhone 7. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to support what i do don't forget to subscribe guys it's free it's gonna take you one second it's gonna help me creating more videos for everybody you know because this is for the community thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video bye